Romeo, oh Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Well, they're here at the Cottage Restaurant on Linden Street in Wellesley. But this Romeo stands for the retired old men eating out. Let's see what they're up to. Um, well, you could describe this as academic freeloaders. You know, here in Wellesley, if you're a resident uh, and over age 65, you can audit classes at Wellesley College at no cost. So there's several of us who do that on a regular basis. And one day, three of us met outside the Science Center, and we got to talking. We said, let's have lunch. And somehow or other, this is what grew out of it. And we said, well, bring along friends. And now there are, I think there are 10 of us here today, but all together on the email list, there are probably 12 or 13. How often do you guys meet? Just once a month. Now, how long have you been with the Romeo organization? Right from the beginning. And I think I'm one of the founding members. You think? You're not sure? <laughs> Memory goes, you know. <laughs> nice. What would you say is the, is the great thing about being a part of this group? It's bonding. You know, it's male bonding at its finest. Uh, rarely do a bunch of guys get together and just talk about politics and sports and a whole series of things in a kind of dedicated way. So I think it, it provides a, a useful forum for that. Yeah. How often do you guys get to meet? Once a month. Once a month. And it's alternate. Everyone has an opportunity to select a restaurant of their choice. So we've gone to some fine places as a result. Yes. Well, restaurant week, we kind of share in that with American Express has the various restaurant weeks. We go out for lunch sometimes. Once a year or twice a year, we have a group with our wives. So then we tend to do that at... at um, some of those times. So we, we include them. And then you heard, or I probably will hear, that there's a, a parallel offshoot of this group that is starting called Rolex, which are our wives are getting together today for the first time in Wellesley. Oh, they're getting together today for the first time. Oh, yeah. wonderful. So it's the foundation of something that might work into this group. I'm still working, okay? So yeah. unlike a lot of them, I'm still working. And so I try to come to as many as possible that are, that are really in Metro West. I, I rarely go into Boston. Oh, so they meet okay. sometimes in Boston? Oh yeah, you know, whoever, whoever's month it is gets to pick, pick what restaurant it is. Okay. And what would you say is like the best part of being a part of this group? Well, for, for, I, I teach at Wellesley College, so one of the, one of the uh, benefits for me is that I get to see a lot of men, which I, which I don't during, during the week. Uh, the other thing is, uh, more seriously, is, you know, these, these guys are very, uh, very active. They have led interesting lives. They have uh, interesting opinions. Um, and, and uh, the, the, it's, it's great to talk to them, and I, I really enjoy that. And now, you don't normally see a, a large group of men getting together and, and hanging out together. That's right. Uh, one, uh, about six months ago, several ladies came over to us and, and asked us what we were doing. And they were very surprised. I say, usually you can see women, but never men. So I thought that was kind of funny. Why do you, why do you think that that is? Why do you think that uh, they have a difference? I think women... Uh, um, can be very uh, more intimate with each other. They talk about subjects that men never talk about. And uh, we talk about politics and about various things, but we never talk about family, or rarely. Uh, it's just when men aren't comfortable talking about things like that. I think women are. I mean, I hear my wife on the telephone talking to her friends, and it's an entirely different kind of conversation that I would have with my friends. If you're interested in learning more about Romeo, you can contact Herb Glick at hglick at comcast.net. For Wellesley This Week, I'm Sarah Blodgett.